The banks, in order to comply with the regulators, have to implement very stringent controls, processes, mechanisms to ensure strong screening processes and monitoring. One of the biggest challenges for AML today is that the AML itself is a very horizontal space, unlike some of the other business verticals. Since it's horizontal, it needs to cover every line of business, it needs to cover every line of uh, operations that they have, and compliance today in the bank is extremely challenged to actually build a, something with, uh, a system which is universal in terms of AML, covers the end-to-end -end processes of the bank. In our experiences, what we discovered that for, for the AML to be successful in terms of monitoring, the biggest challenge today is how they actually define the data. And the biggest fault line that we actually see today is the definitions at the data level, which is probably nothing but the requirements, are very poorly captured. Because of this poor capture of the requirements, the ambiguity between requirements, especially at the data definitions level, it leads to massive downstream costs, both in terms of operations, in terms of the AML operations itself, and the technology spends are extremely high, which itself kind of boomerangs into the overall AML cost. Because of this particular issue of the requirements leakage, in fact, we discovered that the requirements leakage contributes to about 70% uh, of, of the kind of issues that we face in AML. If you don't set the requirements right, it leads to a massive amount of unproductive false alerts, which leads into uh, false alerts cases, and which does not really help in the AML monitoring. So from that angle, it's important to capture the, the data requirements very clearly. And we've kind of implemented a process called DRB, which is nothing but a data requirement validation, which identifies gaps at the data level much, much early in the cycle. If a DRB is implemented in a very robust manner and you invest upfront, it is certain that you would save about 40 to 50% of your program costs downstream and your operational costs will come down by 20%.